Yeah. I've got some high tensile fencing wire here mm. and I'm going to bend it. So I'm going to do bend and do a few things to it and we'll see what happens. So the hottest part of the flame is just where the blue finishes. All right, and I, oh, that's hot already. And I'm going to hope that I can hold on to this. If I can't, I'll use the pliers. And I'm going to heat it up until it gets to a cherry red. Now, this is basically what they do to your file. They've got a bit of steel, they've cut grooves in it, and then they've heated it up like this. Yet another interesting thing that happens is that when it gets to a certain temperature, it's no longer magnetic. Still magnetic there, but it's not magnetic there. I'm now I'm just going to leave that and let it cool down in the air like that. I'm going to now quench that. Now what I'm doing, when you quench it, you really want to shake it around because what happens is that it goes in red hot and the bubbles form on it. And then it's not being quenched anymore. So what I've done is there, I'm hoping what I've done, is, and that's what your, that's what your file is like. So I'm going to take this up to cherry red. I hope this works. So there we are, it's up to cherry red. It went redder in uh, my workshop, whether it's the lights here, I don't know. No, I'm just going to dunk it. Cold. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to heat it just a little bit. I'm not going to make it cherry red. I'm just heating it up a little bit. And I hope this isn't going to embarrass me. I'm just going to leave it like that. here oh look it's left a mark um, all we did was heat it up and let it cool in the air and I'm hoping that it's not going to do anything and it's just going to bend. bend out again yeah. this one is like your file it's heated up and quenched and yeah. all right you saw how easy that was so that's what could happen to your file. And it took very little to do that. This one, I've heated up and I've done all my work on it. I've flattened it out and put everything on it. And then I put it back in the flame and I hope this is going to work. <laughs> it should do. I sort of didn't take the temperature up very far. But what I've done, all the, all the here, all the grain is, was expanded out plunged in the water and it's fixed out you know it's all away from itself and it's kind of very coarse sort of grain on it the molecules are sort of locked in place but far apart now what i did here was i heated it up just a little bit just to allow the molecules to get back in and lock in you happy with that so that's what we're doing